Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. Many interesting and surprising events are starting to take place in One Piece. The pirates in the Navy are looking to defeat as many enemies as possible, leaving only the most powerful alive for the great final showdown that is yet to come. So in today's video, we're going to talk about our expectations for our upcoming chapter of 1081 of One Piece, what events could still happen in this chapter, and the ones that are still a possibility that could happen in future chapters. Before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel, or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like, and even subscribe, and maybe leave us a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it keeps motivating us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, in this last chapter, we saw an incredible entry by Garp onto the pirate island managing to defeat several of the weaker Teach Pirates with just one extremely strong strike. But as we know, these are just the smaller, more insignificant pirates. The real dangers that are still on the island are preparing to fight Sword and Garp there. And this is going to cause a pretty large battle between both sides. Currently, we have Prince Cruz, Kujaku, Hibari, Helmeppo, Tashigi, and Garp on the pirate island there to rescue Kobe. And despite being very powerful marines, there are extremely powerful Blackbeard pirates that are still on that island and they haven't done anything yet. Shiryu, Avalo Pizarro, Vasco Shot, and San Juan Wolf are still on the island protecting it, proving to be very powerful Devil Fruit users. And in these next chapters, we're going to see Sword facing off against these Blackbeard Pirates. And this will be a battle where we will all get to see the Blackbeard Pirates in action for the first time against some really strong opponents that could bring them some great difficulty in the battle. But contrary to what some of us might think, the Sword members are going to have to be very careful with these Blackbeard Pirates. The Pirates of Olo Pizarro, Vasco Shot, and San Juan Wolf had been imprisoned in the most secure level of the world of One Piece, being on level 6 of Impel Down. So this means that the world government wanted to erase the existence of these Pirates and consequently try to erase their past and all of the cruel acts that made these infamous pirates famous. It is very likely that these are very powerful and vicious individuals and will offer a pretty substantial challenge against these sword members. And we also can't forget the fact that Shiryu, despite being a pirate, was the former head jailer of Impel Down Prison. So this alone means he's extremely powerful and might even be responsible for facing Garb while Teach's most powerful pirates don't appear to support the confrontation. But however strong Shiryu and up being, he's probably still not going to be able to beat Garp, because although Garp is getting up in the years, he is still extremely powerful, and still able to use his great physical strength to easily defeat his enemies. So the only way to stop Garp is going to be through Kuzan, who might possibly still be on the Pirate Island, because we really haven't had much information on where he might be. There is indeed a possibility that the boat that is on its way to Egghead Island could be Kuzan, since all of Blackbeard's other pirates are participating in some other battle. Or it could even be Katarina Devon, who hasn't really appeared so far. If she's going to Egghead, several internal conflicts are gonna happen. And all of this is because of her ability to change her appearance into anybody she wants, allowing her to infiltrate the Straw Hats and even the Navy to get something of interest to her or Blackbeard. So the only one that could actually stop Garp and the Sword Marines at this point is Kuzan or Blackbeard himself. Because the other Blackbeard pirates, as strong as they are, have a very slim chance of winning this fight against somebody like Garp. Another likely scene that we're hopefully going to be treated to is that we might get to see the conclusion of the Teach versus Law match. A match that has probably ended some time ago because the last frame that we saw, we saw that Law was being caught off guard by an attack from Teach. And it's very likely the Teach managed to defeat Law and then kept him trapped on his ship or even took his life to obtain the Opi Opi no Mi as this fruit is extremely powerful and one of the most valuable in the world. If Blackbeard knows, in fact, the fruit's ability to give immortality to a person at the cost of their life, this could make Teach give it to a subordinate just to achieve the ability to become immortal. And there are many other possibilities where Blackbeard could use the Opio Opio no Mi to his advantage, so it's still a little early to realize what Teach might do after defeating Law and his crew. So in the next few chapters, we'll finally get to see the Navy fully arriving on Egghead Island, completely surrounding the place and destroying the robotic Sea Kings that protect the island. This will also allow the mystery ship of Blackbeards to enter the island without much resistance because it's no longer protected. And this is going to further increase the possibility that this pirate will be able to complete his plan. Because with the Navy arriving, a big battle's going to begin. Several new pacifistas are scattered around Egghead Island, giving Straw Hats little time to plan their escape. But we also have to remember that Vegapunk is still missing. Everything indicates that Vegapunk will only be 
found when the big battle on Egghead Island begins. Because in this way, Luffy and the other Straw Hats will be forced to confront not only the Navy, but any other pirates that decide to show up and crash the party. The coming battle will end up being between some of the most powerful pirates against a Yonko crew, all to determine the fate of the most intelligent scientist in the world of One Piece. It's also not very likely that we're going to see a battle straight away between, say, Kazaru and Luffy, because both are going to take a while to run into each other on Egghead Island. So this means that we might see a second battle between Luffy and Rob Lucci on the island, especially if Luffy doesn't hold up his end of the bargain after they discover the Navy is on the island. Also, if Lucci decides to use his awakened form again, this is going to force Luffy into his Gear 5th transformation, causing further wear and tear on his body, and giving Luffy a very big hindrance in his next fights that he might have on the island. It also seems that Luffy is getting more concerned with finding a way to defeat the Seraphim without the need to use Gear 5th, avoiding the rapid exhaustion that this transformation causes him. We also still don't know exactly how the Straw Hats are gonna be able to get to Vegapunk and also get him away from York, besides the fact that it looks like they're gonna have no other choice but to destroy the Seraphim. You see, with the arrival of the Marines, and more especially the Gorosei on Egghead Island, this is going to make Saturn have even greater command than the punks have themselves, causing the Seraphim to once again follow the commands of their enemies. Speaking of York, it still seems that they have a grand plan, even though their goal of becoming a Celestial Dragon had been completely destroyed with the betrayal of the Gorosei, because they only deceived her in order to find out what Vegapunk had been planning. In previous chapters, we did see York give a mysterious order to S-Snake, and we don't know what that order might have been, but it could have been part of their new objective to possibly escape from the island before the Navy arrives to stop it from happening. York even said it herself, she's not as efficient at hand-to-hand -hand combat, leaving her only just the chance to disrupt the Straw Hats and the other Vegapunks and get the Marines to take their lives as soon as they arrive. But with all the Punks and Vegapunk the Stella destroyed, York could become the only Vegapunk as she said, the original Vegapunk, completing part of her goals to become the only great scientist left in the world. So it's possible that we'll still see York trying to get away from the Straw Hats as they start to confront the Marines, becoming yet another obstacle in the way of the pirates who only seek to find Vegapunk and escape as quickly as possible from the island. And finally, let's talk about the Straw Hats, who, as I said earlier, are in some serious danger now that the Navy is getting closer and closer to Egghead Island, and they might even arrive on the island Island in these next couple of chapters, even before the Straw Hats ever manage to find where Vegapunk is. The conflict against the Marines, Kizaru, and Saturn is, of course, inevitable. And as Shaka said, they did feel that Vegapunk would possibly die during this battle. Now, we don't know if Shaka was referring to themselves because they're a Vegapunk, because after all, he was shot by York, or if Shaka really thinks that Stella could lose their life in these next events. So however you slice it, the outcome and ending of this arc is still really uncertain, and there are many different battles and conflicts taking place around the world. And these conflicts are going to lead to things that will change history completely. In fact, all of these conflicts are happening in very close proximity to each other. The pirates and marines that were battling on neighboring islands may end up showing up on other islands to present an even greater danger to those that are there, because this wide range of events in this arc is getting more and more interesting. So for now, all we can do is wait to see the complete outcome of all the events, of battles, and everything else that's going to happen in this Egghead Island arc. And we're going to be watching closely as the Straw Hats look to find a way to escape with Vegapunk and get him off Egghead Island. So now that we've covered our expectations for our upcoming chapter of 1081 of One Piece, we'd love to know what yours are. First off, what do you think is going to happen when the Gorosei finally makes landfall on Egghead? Do you think they're going to go straight for, say, the other Seraphim? Or is there something even more sinister planned? And also, how how do you think Luffy and the Straw Hats are going to pull off an escape? And more importantly, where do you think they're going to escape to? There's been discussion around the community that they're definitely going to head to Elbaf, but before they go there, could they take a little side excursion to the moon or somewhere else unexpected? Let us know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video for the day, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching the video, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure you comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that red subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I hope to see you all in our next video, and let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.